lived in the woods. My father taught me a lot about home medicine. After my mom died during childbirth, he let me burn the body. You can learn a lot from family. Let's get into the 21st century here. We really need to move beyond this negativity and hostility towards the pharmaceutical industry. We are leading robust, end-to-end, -end sustainable solutions to healthcare challenges in a viable and yet 100% patient-centric, care-focused, and responsible manner. Life is full of very complex chemical challenges. Beta Pharmaceuticals is there every step of the way, much more so than a bunch of hillbillies fighting progress and home cremating their mother. Well, what kind uh, what, what of... You, that's like being a corporate slut. Well, you don't know you are where you are. Well, really, life is a challenge. And if you could swallow a magic pill every day and not worry about that challenge, wouldn't you? We all would. Some of us are. Take, for instance, our best-selling symptomatic postural tension reliever, Comanex. Life is stressful. Up the dose. And with increased dosage, people will see an inverse reduction in problems. It's science, really. Life is stressful, and the reason it's stressful is that the consumer is forced to pay pharmaceutical companies like yours exorbitant fees to cover these prescriptions and CEO bonuses. HMOs like mine are trying to save your life, and Little Miss Drug Company here sashays into the doctor's office, flashes her perky bazookas, and the next thing you know, the doctor is prescribing heavy sedatives for every splinter or rash. And who gets to pay for this? The insurance companies, which we are obliged to mark up and pay pass on to you in denied coverage claims. It breaks my heart. There's just, there's just too many pills, man. It's making our immune systems weak. My mom was a, was a, was a visionary and a, and a helper, you know, and she left me in dirty diapers all day. And now I have a super goddamn immune system. I can lick the floor under a truck stop urinal, and it don't affect me a bit. And sometimes I do, for cash or whatever. That's the problem. Let's stop blaming the HMOs because you can't see a doctor. Don't blame Profits or Nixon because you've got bad coverage. Bottom line, don't blame me because you're a loser. Not my fault, buddy. And the last thing we need on Earth is socialized medicine. Jeesh. Can you imagine the chaos if everyone was able to see a doctor and didn't have to fill out reams of paperwork before they were denied a life-saving surgery because it costs money? It would be anarchy. There'd be lines for bread, and we'd all be speaking Russian or Cuban, and people would die. People are already dying because of paperwork and lack of coverage and their failure to understand the small print. Okay, Lennon, I understand. You want to live in a socialist utopia. Fair enough. Well, I don't. I want choices. I want access. I want buzzwords. I want dreams. I want the chance to look you in the eye and say, I've got my car.